Hi there, D.W. Berman here, just going to go over uh, some basics of LightWave as far as moving a texture. Uh, here I have a basic turbulence pattern on this cube here. Say I want to move the texture through the cube, how do I do that? Well, I can play with these things down here and just kind of slide them around. Of course, that only sets it, it doesn't animate it. So to animate it, you could uh, click on the E button here, and that brings up the graph editor. And you can say I wanted to move this texture vertically. I could just add a keyframe here, making sure I have the vertical or the Y channel selected, position Y, and just uh, click in here somewhere and set my pre-behavior to linear and post-behavior to linear. And uh, there my texture is moving up. And you can do the same things with the uh, the other channels. And of course, you can use expressions to tie it to other objects or whatever. Um, you can also use modifiers, uh, like the oscillator. You see my motion is huge there. I can scale it way down, let's say 0.2. Or not. There you can see it's a little different. And if you notice that if you add an expression, if you add something to the modifiers here, it actually keeps the original path. So if you uh, just want to add variation to an overall movement, you can do that. But uh, in this case, I'm not going to worry about that. To uh, get rid of this animation, just hold on Shift and click e on the E button there, and it gets rid of it. Um, if you just want to move through the texture, an easy way to do that is to just set the uh, texture reference object right here. And this works with uh, image maps as well. Just set the texture reference object to, in my case, this null I have here. And I can slide the null around. And wherever I move the null, the texture sticks to the null. So it looks like it's moving through the cube. And one other thing I want to show you. What if you want to move the cube through the texture? Because right now, if I move the cube around, the texture sticks on the cube. Well, if I check the world coordinates, now the cube is moving through the texture. And this could be useful for, say, flames coming out the back of a jet. You know, or traveling through smoke or something. So, um, yeah. Those are a few quick little techniques for moving a texture around on an object surface in LightWave. Uh, be sure to like this video if you like it. Uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to get updates for when I get more videos online. And uh, check out my full paid tutorials at uh, liberty3d.com. Uh, thanks. Have a great day.